In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Most Merciful, brothers and sisters, I want to say to you, you know America is going to go to war. They killed Qasim Sunamadi, and America is so powerful, she has the right to define others. See, Mr. Trump, I respect you because you was the former president of the United States of America. But see, Mr. Trump, when you was in the White House, a lot of Americans voted for you. But the time didn't change. Your term is up. Now, Mr. Trump, I respect you when you was the President of the United States of America. But see, you killed my brother, Casa Sunamadi. And America, my brothers and sisters, is so powerful. She has the right to define us. See, Mr. Trump, I respect you, even though you was the president of the United States of America. But you killed my brother, Qasem Soudamadi. And Miss Clinton killed my other brother, Ron Gaddafi. And that's why I couldn't support Mr. Clinton. And see, Mr. Trump, you was that former president of the United States of America, but you had said that my brother was a terrorist. And you said that you got power to define people. See, you may not like me, so you might call me a terrorist tomorrow to justify what the government plan to do to me and the nation of Islam. But no, 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 I'm just inviting you. See, I wanna sit down and talk because I have a solution from God. In fact, I bring it to you today. See, let me tell you something. Kara asked the question, do you wonder that a man that was born from amongst you who has been selected by God to be the messenger of his to the people and the warner to the nation of the world? See, I didn't know I was going to be a student of the Honorable Elias Muhammad, but I like to tell you what my assignment was. See, Casa, President Trump says, kill a lot of Americans. He's a bad man. He's bad. So I killed him. Where will a man be that he killed? Did he kill him in New York? Did he kill him in Philly? Or did he kill him in Colorado or California or Florida? Where did he kill them? He killed them in Iraq. So what the hell you doing in Iraq? See, that man was no terrorist. He was killing members from the occupied army. And he, as the brothers from Iran, was trying to to rid them of an occupied arm. So I'm naming you, and I got weight with God, an occupied arm. So my question is, what the hell you doing in the Middle East? You see, soldiers everywhere. Who sent for them? Protecting 
your little flunky nation. So if I speak how I speak, and you know I'm telling the truth. See, this is not hyperbically, truthful hyperbically, but this is the real actual facts. See, you went there not to save the Iraqi people, but you went there and spent trillions of dollars to make Iran a bold walk in defense against Iran. So now, my beloved brothers and sisters, let's look at scripture. See, Babylon is falling. It's falling. Substitute America for Babylon. She's unraveling. But America is falling. But why have you fallen, America? Why? Because you have become a habitation of devils. A hole for every evil person. A cage for every hateful bird. Have you become a nation of devils? So, Mr. Trump, kill my brother, Casa Sunamadi. So, my question is how many people are you planning to kill? And how many people are you going to kill? See, murder is your operanda die. See, here I am now. See, you want me dead. And after a little while, maybe you just want to speed things up in the process. So, Mr. Trump, this nation has become a habitation of devils and a home. For every evil and hateful bird. You can imagine in Babylon, the goddess queen was a haven of all. So America today is started with being a haven as Babylon was. And she got many of the people to drink her wine, her intoxicate drinks. So today in America, we lust for whiskey, beer, gambling, sports, and play. Only in the old USA, where the gospel of Jesus is being preached every hour and every day. So I want to say to you, brothers... This is what we have been in. So God is saying for us to come out of her and seek refuge in our God. May God be with you and let his peace dwell amongst you.